The future is coming fast, and your world will never be the same. The future Leading Japan's efforts to shape the future of play is this guy, Dr. Adrian Chiok, the crazy smart inventor who runs a place called the Mixed Reality Lab at Keio University. Tell me about mixed reality. Well, mixed reality is where we take the virtual world, which is normally behind your computer screen, bring it out into the real world, into your real life, so it becomes part of your physical reality. So an invasion of the virtual world into our own. Can you show me a bit? Yes, we'll show you plenty of things. Please come into my lab. The main hall may look like a starship, but it's earthbound, hands-on, hard work that goes on in their labs. Technologies are mixed and matched and reworked into cool-looking toys that almost require an expert to explain them. Well, nobody said playtime was all fun and games. Mixed reality is their hottest new idea. Normally, we need devices like keyboards and touchpads to control our computers. But what if we chucked all that and instead employed the cutting-edge technology mastered by infants everywhere? Plastic blocks. You're not impressed? How is standard equipment from your old playpen going to change the way we enter the virtual worlds of our machines? On these cubes, what we're going to see is virtual reality objects appear. And so children will be able to experience a new kind of mixed reality, interactive storytelling. Okay. So it looks like it's a magic virtual object just right on your hand. Here's how it works. A camera on the computer tracks the movement of the blocks in your hands. So what happens on your desk shows up on your desktop. But in the virtual world, the blocks now have the power over the characters and the story. So can you show me how to play the actual game? Okay, so how we do it is that, first of all, we choose a story. Okay. So in this three case, little you, pigs. Three little pigs. Just like pulling a book off the shelf. Just like pulling a book off the shelf. But in this case, it's almost infinite. We can load probably thousands or millions of stories yeah. here, and the children can select it. We took a trip through the mixed reality of this classic fairy tale. It was just like being a kid again. You can see a Whoa. scene of the little pigs. So they're asking, where is our mother? How do we That's right. get so our mother? Then you use this other cube to go through the different objects. There's a mother pig. So you click the cubes together, and then the mother appear. Okay. My dear children. It's as if you kind of put your hands inside to the screen, yeah. but now you can directly touch and manipulate those, all the different characters. But can you squish them? Well, in this version, you can't. Kids love to squish things. <laughs> the squishing is coming. All right. And squishing is <laughs> Maybe coming. version 2.0. That's right, yeah. Great. So they've actually got the world in their hands. Yes, they yeah. feel like they're a kind of superhero or god <laughs> holding all the characters. Kids feeling like hands. god sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. They got this drawing. What's the significance of what's on the block? You've got two, one, there seems to be a pattern on there. Yeah, so the camera is looking for these special markers. Okay. It's kind of like a, uh, when you buy something, you see like a, kind a barcode. barcode. Yeah, a QR so it's kind of like code. a special barcode or QR code. Okay. Is this a difference. special camera that you're using? It looks no, like it's, just, it's just a normal web camera. Off-the-shelf technology keeps these brave new toys affordable. We want to make now? technology that is available for millions of children around yeah. the world, not just people who have a lot of money, okay. but anyone could, could use such technology. Yeah. Adrian envisions this as more than a light diversion. There are tremendous social benefits for kids playing Three Little Pigs mixed reality style. By having the interface in the real world mm -hmm. and combining virtual reality, you promote much more collaboration, much more cooperation. Okay. If you notice, uh, you know, children or teenagers playing video games, it's kind of well, just they're all like, yeah, it's very focused on the screen. Right. And even screen. it's social, but it's not as social as this. Exactly. Now it's my turn to play God in the virtual world of the Three Little Pigs. You can really just really use your imagination yeah. more by seeing the whole scene as if it's in 3D. That's awesome. I'm going to deliver your rope. Stop asking. <laughs> there, you got your rope. Now build the house. Look at that. These blocks Check give you complete out. control of the action. It feels like they've got the potential to flip computer gaming on its head. Zero gravity pigs. <laughs> so if I want to see the story upside down, <laughs> I can just watch it like yes. this. This is way better than a pop-up book. We yeah. try to create something which is giving the feeling of magical experience to yeah. children because enjoying the experience is also very good for learning. Yes, yeah, somebody said any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. That's right. Yeah. So we try to push the barrier of technology and do what is on the kind of edge of doability. Okay. It's the, almost the edge impossible. of doability edge is a great phrase. Almost impossible 
It might not be commercially feasible at this stage, but eventually it will be. So, you know, push that barrier, then people can experience a kind of magic. A kind of magic Adrian thinks will be all around the world in 10 years. Forget mashing keys on handhelds with their tiny screens. Every street corner will be a mixed reality playground with games dancing in 3D in front of kids' video goggles. And it's not all about fun. Mixed reality is going to revolutionize the way we work, too. Architects and engineers will be diving into their blueprints and schematics. Seeing designs from new angles, pulling pieces apart and fitting them together in new ways, just the way I am today with Three Little Pigs. Adrian will probably make out like a bandit, but that's what happens when you make changing the world into child's play. It's an amazing future that is a lot less about destroying the traditional methods of play than it is about building upon them with the new tools we have available and creating new ones. I can't wait to see what happens next. The future!